If your team relies on a centralized tool to communicate, share work, and stay in sync, you might have come across Slack and Microsoft Teams. Slack is a well-known communication tool designed to make team messaging simple and efficient with channels, direct messages, and integrations. Microsoft Teams comes bundled with Microsoft 365, which makes it a go-to for companies already using Office tools every day. But you can't just use both, can you? In this video, we will be comparing these two head-on to help you decide which one you should go for. When you first open Slack, you're greeted by an interface that many describe as clean and welcoming. The design emphasizes simplicity, channels, direct messages, and a sidebar that you can customize almost entirely. This ease of use makes it very simple to dive right into conversations without feeling overwhelmed. Microsoft Teams, however, opts for a more structured, tab-based layout. Its left-hand navigation bar is packed with icons for chat, teams, meetings, files, and more. For someone new to the platform, this structure might feel a bit cluttered at first. Yet, once you get used to it, the organization can be incredibly helpful for managing multiple projects and departments. The way channels are organized is a key point of difference between the two platforms. In Slack, Every conversation happens in channels that can be created for anything from a project to a casual water cooler chat. There's a level of freedom here. Channels can be public or private, and features like Slack Connect even let you invite people from other organizations into a specific channel. This makes it easy to maintain fluid communication across different groups. In contrast, Microsoft Teams structures channels within Teams. You first create a team, often representing a department or major project, and then create channels underneath it. This hierarchy can be advantageous if you're managing a large organization where clear boundaries are needed. Although Teams' approach might feel more rigid, it also brings clarity and order to a complex workflow. So messaging is, after all, the core feature of both platforms. Slack has always prided itself on making everyday messaging light, fast, and, importantly, fun. You can format messages, easily share files, and even use simple commands to access more advanced functions. The messaging experience is designed to be quick and responsive, with the ability to search through thousands of messages using modifiers that help you zero in on exactly what you need. Microsoft Teams offers a similarly robust messaging system, but it has an extra focus on formatting. In Teams, you can create messages that look almost like a mini-document, with options for different fonts, colors, tables, and even embedded links that integrate easily with your Office documents. This can be particularly useful when you need to present more formal or structured information. The overall messaging experience in Slack tends to feel lighter and more immediately accessible, whereas Teams is a bit more suited to longer, detailed discussions where presentation matters. Now let's talk about something called Thread. In Slack, when you reply to a message, the thread pops up in a dedicated pane on the right side of your screen. This makes it very clear which messages belong together without interrupting the main channel conversation. It's an approach that many users appreciate because it lets you follow a sub-conversation while still keeping the overall chat uncluttered. Microsoft Teams also supports threaded conversations, but it integrates these threads directly into the flow of the chat. There is less of a visual separation between the main conversation and the thread, which can sometimes make long discussions a bit harder to follow. Both methods have their merits. Slack's method offers a little more clarity for busy channels, while Teams' approach is more integrated and may suit users who prefer everything in one continuous window.
If you need to jump on a video call for a quick check-in or a detailed meeting, this is another area where the two platforms differ noticeably. Slack's video feature, known as Slack Huddles, is designed for quick, informal conversations. It's perfect when you want to quickly resolve a question or have a short discussion without setting up a formal meeting. However, it's not as feature-packed. Slack Huddles support a relatively small number of participants and advanced features like call recording, transcription, or integrated whiteboarding aren't part of its core functionality. Microsoft Teams, on the other hand, was built with video conferencing in mind. So if you're hosting a small meeting or a large webinar, Teams can support hundreds of participants, offer high-quality video and audio, and include advanced features such as call recording, live transcription, and integrated whiteboarding. For organizations that require a full-featured conferencing tool, especially in larger meetings or enterprise environments, Teams clearly has the edge. When it comes to integrations, both platforms shine, but in different ways. Slack is renowned for its ability to integrate with over 2,600 third-party apps. No matter if you need to connect to tools for project management, customer support, or even niche apps that keep your workflow running smoothly, Slack offers a vast ecosystem of integrations. This means that if your team uses a variety of apps outside the Microsoft ecosystem, Slack can help keep everything connected. Contrast, Microsoft Teams maximizes its strength as part of the Office 365 suite. If your organization is already using Microsoft products like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, SharePoint, or OneDrive, Teams provides a collaborative experience where everything is interconnected. While Teams might support fewer third-party apps overall, the quality of integration with Microsoft tools is top-notch. The choice here really depends on your current software environment. Another important aspect is how much you can customize the tool to suit your personal and team preferences. Slack gives you a lot of freedom here. From choosing light or dark themes to adjusting the color and layout of your sidebar, Slack lets you personalize your workspace almost to the last detail. This flexibility can help create a more comfortable environment, especially for teams that thrive on creativity and a non-traditional approach. Microsoft Teams, while not lacking in design, offers fewer customization options. You get a set of three themes, light, dark, and high contrast, which is enough for a consistent experience but doesn't provide the same level of personalization as Slack. This standardization can be beneficial in large organizations where uniformity is valued, but for teams looking to inject a little personality into their workspaces, Slack's broader range of options is a noticeable advantage. Both platforms are embracing artificial intelligence to improve productivity. Microsoft Teams has been integrating AI features under the Copilot banner. These capabilities include meeting transcription, real-time summarization, intelligent scheduling suggestions, and even context-aware suggestions during chats. These features are designed to help streamline your workflow and make meetings more effective. Slack, too, is stepping up its AI with Slack AI and integrations like Agent Force, which can help summarize discussions, provide contextual search results, and even offer automated responses based on past interactions. While both platforms offer AI enhancements, Teams' integration of Copilot across its ecosystem tends to be more deeply embedded especially for users who rely on Office 365. Slack's AI features, though innovative, may be seen as more supplementary that enhance the already fluid chat experience rather than fundamentally transforming it. So, which one should you choose? The answer ultimately depends on your team's size, existing ecosystem, and company needs. If your organization is deeply invested in Microsoft Office 365, and you require strong video conferencing, advanced AI features, and a more structured communication environment, then Microsoft Teams is likely the best choice. 
And if you're part of a smaller Agile team that values a friendly, customizable interface and a wide array of third-party integrations, Slack may be the more suitable option. Make the right choice and let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.